I'm Hilary Mulek and I am a wedding photographer based in the Carolinas and today I am sharing part two of my four-part series about my favorite features in HoneyBook. Last week we learned about how I track inquiries in HoneyBook and this week I'm going to be talking about my contact form that I create in HoneyBook and embed it into my website to collect inquiries from both weddings and portrait sessions. If you're not familiar with HoneyBook, HoneyBook is my client management system. I do everything from send proposals, contracts, invoices. I communicate with my clients back and forth in HoneyBook. I send them questionnaires and brochures to collect information from them. I also collect payments in HoneyBook and it really just is an all-in-one client management system. So this week I'm going to be talking about how I create a contact form in HoneyBook and embed it into my Show It website. So right here I'm on my HoneyBook projects page and I'm going to go up here to tools and to contact form. And then here's where you can create contact forms. I have three different contact forms in here. Only two of them are active. I'm going to open up my wedding contact form. This is the one that I have embedded in my website. I asked their first name, last name, fiance's name, email, just collecting all their basic information about their weddings. These are all just fill in the blanks and I can change this here. It is short text. I can um, change it to different things. I can also make this a required thing that they have to fill out on the form or not required. So as I'm scrolling down, they fill in their wedding day, the locations of their ceremony and reception. I have them put their general budget. I have them fill out information about their wedding. Here's a drop down feature that you can add into your contact form. So for weddings, I ask them whether they've decided if they want to do a first look or an aisle reveal, or if they haven't really decided yet and they'd love to learn more about each of those options. So you can select that. I've selected the drop down feature. Let me go back in here. So here's different features that you can customize. You can make it two fields, short text, long text, drop down feature, single multiple, single choice, multiple choice, a date picker for something. There's just so many different options in customizing this HoneyBook contact form. Here I have them select. This is a multiple select option, multiple choice option, and they can select what else they are looking for in their wedding package. So I have engagement session, album, bridal session, rehearsal dinner. Those are just some things that they can add on to their package. And it's nice to know ahead of time if that's something they are interested in. And then down here at the bottom, I have some selection options on how did they hear about my business? Who can I think for the referral? And then if they have any additional questions and then they can send this over to me. Another great thing about the embedded HoneyBook contact forms is here in the settings, I can have a default thank you message pop up for them, or I can send them to my own personal website page if I want. And actually on my website, I have created a page that thanks them for inquiring with me and they can watch a video. And so I have customized on here that it'll send them directly to that page. I can also select on here whether I want a specific assignment for whatever projects get inquired with this form. So I don't have it selected yet, but I'm actually gonna change it to wedding. There we go. I'm gonna publish those changes. The changes were accepted. And then the easy part, embedding this into your website. So I can go to publish, copy this code. And then if I go to my show it website page, I'm right here already on my page for my increase for weddings. I'm gonna click this and the embedded code is right here. So I can actually paste that embedded code there and then publish it. I didn't have to do this again since it was already in there, but I'm just showing you how you can do that. Great, so let's go back to the HoneyBook contact forms. I also wanna show you my portrait forms. 
So right here, my family contact form, because on my website, when you click the inquire tab, they can actually inquire for both weddings or a family portrait session. So this could be newborn session, family session, maternity session, anything having to do with the family. So if you, I go over here to my HoneyBook page. Right here, I have name, email, phone number. I have a multiple, or actually I have this, I think this is, oh, it is a multiple choice, but you can actually change it to a single choice if you want. And they can select what type of session they are interested in. And if they answered other, they can fill out what type of photography they're interested in, fill in some information about their families, how they heard from me, and if they have any additional questions. And I didn't mention this earlier, but you can actually add other questions. So um, if I want another short text, I can click that and it's really easy to customize and then they can fill it out here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then again, I can copy this code and put it right into my website. I use show it, but you can copy it into probably most website platforms because it's just an embedded code. And that is how I use the contact forms in HoneyBook. I have two contact forms that I currently use and they are both embedded on my website. So if I go here to my contact form or my contact page, they can fill out the contact form for weddings or the contact form for families and their inquiry will automatically go in to my inquiry tracker pipeline here. It'll show up in inquiries and then I can move it through the tracker depending on what stage in the client experience that they are in. If you have any additional questions about the HoneyBook contact forms or any additional HoneyBook features, you can definitely make a comment down below and I will answer it. Again, if you are interested in HoneyBook, you can try a free trial of it if you click my link down in the description. And then if you wanna sign up for HoneyBook, I have a code for 20% off, so make sure to take advantage of that. And also before we leave here, I wanted to let you know about a freebie that I have, it is my full wedding workflow. So if you're interested in my full client experience with my weddings, the different stages that I have created within that experience in HoneyBook, you can actually download that guide for free. It's in the description down below and you can see exactly what my wedding workflow looks like in HoneyBook. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next week with another YouTube video of another one of my favorite HoneyBook features. I'll see you then.